please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Jason. And I'm Emma, and we're here with your news for Monday, October 15th, 2018. Sorry, my phone opened. <laughs> we had to record this three times because she couldn't get the date. Today's lunch menu for National School Lunch Week features emoticon potatoes, cheese stuffed wedge pizza, pepperoni stuffed wedge pizza, all-American burger, spicy chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, entree salad, turkey and cheese sub combo, blueberry muffin platter, and PB&J PB sandwich. Please join us. Please remember breakfast is free for all students. Visit our donut cart in the courtyard or stop by the cafeteria. Class news, Max Planck Career Day. 10 students from Jupiter High attended the Max Planck Career Panel in September with Mrs. Rogers. Check out these students having a fabulous time. The Career Day is an event that we organize each year in which we uh, invite high schools from Palm Beach County and they come here, they have the possibility to tour the lab and the facilities of Max Planck, then they can have a mentoring lunch and this year we uh, pair every student with a senior scientist in, and, we, and with a post-baccalaureate student so they can have experience from uh, scientists at two different levels of their training and after the mentoring lunch, all the students attended a career panel discussion in which they were allowed to ask questions to three different Max Planck scientists. It's such a unique opportunity to talk to these scientists, to see these live images of tissue, to have a conversation, ask as many questions as you feel. And I think that anybody that's given this opportunity should definitely take it. Male to female ratio is incredible. There's so many women here, both young and older, who are so experienced and that's so inspiring as a young woman who wants to get involved in the scientific field. But they're also incredibly humane and excited about what they do and so personal. And it really, you know, destroys that image of introverted people who isolate themselves in labs every day. I always had this sense that going into a research field or going into any kind of science field, you kind of had a plan, but I talked to a bunch of people today and I realized that most of science, just like the research, you don't really go with the plan. You just take it wherever your life leads you to. And I think that's really cool and it's really nice because then um, ultimately I think you find what you're really interested in rather than what you thought you were. Um, I think it was very valuable, especially the panel, um, just to hear their personal experiences and how a lot of what they do is similar to what every other scientist does and how they use each other's failures and uh, successes to further their own research. I think that they're just so willing to reach out to the community. Everything that they do from like the high school internships to the Brain Bee to like days like today, they really want to get all the students here involved and they want to open up the scientific world for everyone and make it a community for the outside world like it is here. Coming here today has absolutely changed my future and my outlook on that. Any doubts that I had, whether as a woman or just being daunted by the scariness of science, because a lot of it is scary, everything that you have to do and learn and overcome has been completely eliminated. Everything that they talk about they're so passionate and they all started somewhere. All of them spoke about how they didn't really know what they wanted at first or they wanted to start with one thing and all of a sudden they're doing something else. So coming here today has shown me that I can have an idea of what I want to do now and that can completely change in 10, 15 years or I can have no idea what I want to do and still be able to achieve so much and it's really just inspiring everything that they do. I think that uh, every high school student should at least try to attend once. Even if you don't think you want to be a scientist, you will anyway have the possibility to be exposed to this career, to know what we do here at Max Planck, and you never know where your career path is going to lead you. And uh, moreover, being knowledgeable about uh, neuroscience is going to make an impact on your life no matter what your profession is going to be.
yearbooks go up to $85 on October 16th. You can purchase one online at www.yearbookordercenter.com or in room 4203 during fourth or fifth periods. The district's college and career fair will be held at the South Florida Fairground Expo Center East on Wednesday, October 17th, 6 to 8 p.m. All high school students and their parents or guardians are invited to attend the event free of charge. Attention juniors and seniors, Social Studies Honor Society is currently accepting applications. Uh, applications are available from your social studies teachers and are due back to guidance no later than Friday, October 26th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hansen in Portal 20 in between classes at lunch or after school. Clubs, Stoneman Strong meets today at lunch in room 4103. Uh, Remember your officer forms and $20 dues. There will be snacks. See you then. Table Talk, Jupiter High will be holding their next conversation on Thursday, October 18th during lunch in Mr. Shea's Portable 19. Thursday's topic of conversation is the environmental impact of straws. All are welcome. Environmental Academy students and staff, we would love your contribution to the conversation. Table Talk is part of a global initiative to create space for conversation outside of the classroom and peer groups. We promote leadership and community, and community by discussing topical issues from all sides. Come and find out what we are all about. Trick or treat for UNICEF. Pick up a UNICEF box in Ms. Plagman's room 7113. You can also earn community service hours by helping. Help the Jets Club, the JRC Club, and the National Honor Society make a difference in a child's life. Pause for a cause. We will be holding, or will be holding its fall donation drive this week in room 5109. We are in need of blankets, sheets, towels, comforters, pedigree dog and cat food, and animal toys. You will receive community service hours for bringing in items. Please help our furry friends. Sports. Boys and girls soccer tryouts will be held on October 22nd after school at Jupiter Community Park. Athletic eligibility forms must be turned in this week. Girls see Coach Shea in Portable 2, boys Coach Johnston in room 6109. Stay tuned for SGA News. And have fun at the pep rally, Warriors. Hi, my name is Zoe. And I'm Kaylee, here with your SGA News. Homecoming week is finally here. Homecoming ticket sales for the homecoming dance are continuing this week and will be sold in the JHS Courtyard during lunch for $20 except on the final day of ticket sales. Thursday the 18th, tickets will go up in price at $25. Don't forget to get your homecoming contract from Guidance, room 4217, or on the school website, jupiterhighschool.org. Students, don't forget that no tickets are sold at the dance, and there will be no school on October 19th, so you have to get your ticket by October 18th. You must have a JHS ID to get your ticket. SGA is hosting the homecoming pep rally today from 8.23 a.m. to 9.12 a.m. in the gym. Follow the pep rally schedule. You will, need to, you will need a wristband to get into the pep rally. The annual homecoming parade will take place on October 18th at 4 p.m., beginning at the bowling alley on Maplewood. The parade will follow through Tony Penna back to JHS. Come and watch. See you all there. Get excited because SGA is hosting the annual JHS Homecoming Carnival on October 18th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the JHS Courtyard. There will be many fun activities and lots of food. Bring your school ID to get in for free. The Homecoming Carnival is for JHS students only. On October 19th, the Homecoming Football Game will take place at 6 p.m. on the JHS football field. The Homecoming Court will be crowned at halftime and alumni will receive a free raffle ticket to win prizes throughout the game. Don't forget, there will be no admission after third quarter begins. To end off Homecoming Week, the Homecoming Dance will be on October 20th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the JHS, <laughs> JHS gym. Students, you must have your JHS ID and Homecoming ticket in order to get into the dance. Throughout Homecoming Week, we will also have Homecoming Dress Up Days. Today is Class Color Day. Freshmen wear white, sophomores yellow, juniors green, and seniors black. Tuesday, October 16th is Meme Day, so make sure to recreate and dress as your favorite meme. Wednesday, October 17th is Generation Day. Freshmen dress up as babies, sophomores are college kids, juniors work in class, and seniors dress as senior citizens. The final Dress Up Day will be on October 18th, and the dress up day theme is Jumanji. So dress up in your favorite Taurus attire. Congratulations to this week's Teacher of the Week. Miss Gilbert, 
Miss Gilbert is always willing to go out of her way to help her students succeed. Thank you for all you do, Miss Gilbert. If you would like to nominate your favorite teacher, your favorite teachers for Teacher of the Week, the boxes are located in room 4217 and guidance. Just fill out the nomination slip and drop it in the box. That's, That's all for SGA News. Have, Have a great, great week, week, Warriors!